Okay, moving on to example number four, we have that in the diagram below, HLKF is a cyclic quadrilateral, but let's highlight that. So, okay, so let's read on. We're told that we have chords HL, right, and FK, right, are produced to meet at M. Okay, we can see that on the diagram. The line through F parallel to KL, right, so let's see, the line through F parallel to KL, so they're talking about this line FG, right, meets MH, this line MH, produced at G, okay. We then given some links, um, MK is equals to X, KF is equals to 2X, ML is equals to Y, and LH is equals to HG, right? So they've indicated all of this information for us on the diagram. Okay. Let's go to the first question. Let's see what we have to find. Okay, so question 10.2.1 says, Give a reason for why angle GFM is equals to angle LKM. Right, so let's find these angles. Angle GFM, so you start at G, go to F, move to M. Okay, so they're talking about this entire angle F. So angle F2 plus angle F1. Why is it equals to angle LKM? Right, so L, K, M is this angle over here, K1. So if we look at the position of these two angles, it's very quickly you can see that these angles are positioned on this letter F. These are clearly corresponding angles. Right? So we're just simply going to write that 10.2.2 then says prove that GH is equals to Y. Okay, so GH is this length over here. We need to prove that it's equals to Y. Okay, so something else that's equals to Y is ML. Okay, so look over here. Okay, M, F, G is one big triangle. Okay. And you have KL in parallel to FG. So we can apply this theorem on this big triangle, right? So we're going to say that ML, right? Remember, you must always land on parallel lines. Don't get lost. So ML to LG, right? is in the same proportion as MK right, so land on parallel lines to KF right KF remember our reason is a line drawn parallel to one side of the triangle Just going to erase this, try and keep this joint clean. Okay, so now that we have that, let's see. MK, so ML, we can see is Y. Okay, LG over here, LG, right, is made up of these two links which we're told are equal. So LH is equals to HG, this is given, okay, therefore, you can say that LG is simply equals to twice HG, okay, and I'm going to say twice HG because um, this GH is exactly what we need to 
calculate. Right. So now I can substitute. Okay. So ML was given to us as Y. LG is 2GH. Okay. This is equals to MK, which is X, divided by KF, which is 2X. The X's will cancel each other out. Right. So now leading us to a point where we can cross multiply. So we'll have 2y is equal to 2gh. The 2's will then cancel each other out, giving you that gh is equal to y. Okay. So this was question A. Let's move on to question B. Prove that the triangle MFH is similar, remember these three parallel lines means similar to triangle MGF. Okay, so that's triangle MFH and triangle MGF. Okay, so M G F. Okay. That's the triangle in red. And with similarity, the position of these letters is exactly the order in which the angles are equal to each other. So what the statement is saying to you is that angle M is equal to angle M. So in the orange triangle and in the red triangle, angle M is equal to angle M. And you can see that that is true because angle M is common. Right. So that will be your first reason in order to prove similarity. Something else that you see is that they say that angle F is equal to angle G. Right, so in the small triangle, angle F is F2, and in the big triangle, you have angle G. Right, so now you have to figure out why is angle F equal to angle G. Okay, so remember, we stated that we have a cyclic quad, right? So if you look from angle F2, right, opposite it and exterior to the cyclic quad KLHF, you have an angle M1, sorry, angle L1, right? So angle L1 is the exterior angle of the cyclic quad and it's equals to angle F2. But angle L1 is in the same position as what angle K1 is, so it means that it's the corresponding angle to angle G. Right. So now we have found a reason for why two of the angles in triangle MFH and in triangle MGH are equal, so thus we can prove that they are similar. Okay. Angle M G F okay is equals to angle M L K. Right? These are corresponding angles. Angle M L K is equals to angle M F H right and why is this so this is because we have an exterior angle of cyclic quad we need to name it K L H F okay now because we have this, both of them are equals to angle MLK, therefore angle MFH, I'm going to start with that because that's in the small triangle, is equals to angle MGF. Okay, so now that I've proven that, I can go on to prove the similarity. And say, therefore, now in triangle M, F, H, and triangle M, G, F, 
the first thing we're going to say is that angle M is common. Right? The second thing we're going to say is that angle M F H is equals to angle M G F. And this was proven. We just proved it above over here. Therefore, we can conclude that triangle M F H is similar to triangle M G F, and this is by angle angle similarity. Okay, so now moving on to question number C, we have to now figure out the ratio or prove, sorry, that the ratio of GF to FH is equal to 3x over 2y. Okay, so GF is part of this big triangle. Remember, we had highlighted it in red, and F H is part of the small triangle that we highlighted with orange in the previous question. Okay, so in order to get this proportion, we're going to use the similarity that we just proved. So remember the following, okay? When two triangles are similar, right, it's because those two triangles are equiangular, right, which means that they have exactly the same angles, right, and because two triangles are equiangular, right, that means that their size will always be in proportion, okay? Notice that we didn't say that their sides are equal. We said that their sides are in proportion, right? So that's why we call them similar triangles. Otherwise, they would have been called the same triangle. For question number C, if you see, we need GF. So GF is from this big triangle, MGF. So there is GF. So GF, okay, over F H, okay, so F H is in the small triangle, F H, okay, so now I'm going to have to find size that will lead me to what they want me to prove, okay, I can see that X and 2X will give me 3X, and that is made up by the length M F, okay, now be careful, M F is a shared side between the small triangle MFH and the big triangle MFG, okay? But because they stated um, GF first, which is from the big triangle, we're going to have to get MF from the big triangle on the other side as well. So MF is going to be, notice we took the first letter to the last letter, so on the other side again, we have to do exactly the same is going to be proportional to MH. Okay. And your reason this time for this proportionality is the fact that these two triangles are similar. Okay. Now we can see that GF to FH is going to be equals to MF, which is uh, x plus 2x, that is 3x, right? And MH, MH will be equals to y plus y, because remember we proved in the previous question that GH is equals to y, and they gave us that LH is equals to HG, so this is also equals to y. So from M to H, you have two Y's. Okay, so two Y, and this is because LH is equals to HG. Okay, I'm going to state that out as a reason. Right. Okay, and that brings us to the end of that question. Question 10.2.3 then says, Show that y over x is equal to the square root of 3 over 2. Right. So now, a trick that you can use with these proof questions, especially if you see a square root, square both sides. Right. If you square both sides, this will give you y squared over x squared 
is equal to 3 over 2. Okay? And then whenever you see links that are squared, so y squared and x squared in this section, right? So you always have to think of the fact that you have to find two triangles that contain that side. Okay. So we're going to have to look for two triangles that contain the side y. And we already have these triangles. The triangles that we proved similar over here in B, so M H F and M G F both contain the length Y and they both contain the length X. Okay, so we're going to just um, from similarity again, so from the statement again, we're going to get proportion where we're going to uh, find the side that we're going to repeat twice. Okay, so I think the easiest thing to start off is this common side that they share okay so m f okay so let's start with this ratio over here that we determined before um, from the big triangle right you have m f so remember we got it that way to m h right so m h equals to Right. Again, from the okay, this time, let us look at the small triangle. The small triangle also has an MF, right? So because the small triangle is in the denominator, I'm going to write MF in the denominator. And in the top, remember we are taking it from the big triangle, so we're going to have to go like this. So that's MG. Right, and the reason for this again is because these two triangles are similar. Okay, so once you have that, we know that MF is 3x. Okay, and MH, we just proved above over here, is 2y. Okay, so MG, let's just see. MG is all the way to there, so it's y plus y plus 1, so it's 3y. Okay, over MF is 3x. Okay, so now, once you have that, you can cross multiply giving you 9x squared is equals to um, 3 times 2 is 6y squared. Okay. Now divide both sides by x squared and by 6. So you'll have 9 divided by 6 is equals to y squared divided by x squared that this simplifies to 3 over 2 equals to y squared over x squared, which is this, okay? So which means that if you take the square root of both sides, you will have the square root of 3 over 2 is equals to y over x. And that brings us to the end of example number 4.